Hello. Welcome to our humble abode. Nice flat this evening. Thank you. I did it all myself. I really like, I don't know if you can capture that with Fred in the background there. Yeah. Thanks everybody for that. tuning in on YouTube and Facebook over there. Hi there guys. Hi. Hey. I am Katie Picks. I am basically an avid Facebook lover. Like, I, Facebook? <laughs> First day and Facebook maybe and first and day. YouTube and Twitter <laughs> where we will be able to collect all of your comments from today so please get them in but I'm basically a massive first dates fan this girl Cece needs no introduction because oh. you're here for that reason aren't you because Cece's here so hey, hello how are you doing? thank you thank you very Hi. much I appreciate that little introduction no not at all not at all so thank just you. to explain how this is going to go guys there is a comment box there on both Facebook and, and YouTube make sure you join in the conversation we're going to be talking love yes lots of love L -O -V -E love we're going to be talking love today I've got some really juicy questions that are going to be firing at CC today and at you guys so please join in the conversation we're going to be watching some amazing clips yes oh, loads the best the best ones and, uh, but ultimately, firstly, yes, we've just finished season eight. I know. Eight. How does it feel like season eight. eight? I don't know where the time's gone. I literally, I, d I didn't even know we were on season eight. Uh, but yes, this Those. has been, this has been one of the best, I think, because people have been a little bit more open. Yeah. And when you're more open, me personally, I'm more drawn to them. So oh. yeah, this has been a very, very good one. Yeah. Very nice. Mm, how exciting. Right then, guys. So your first question. We we're about to see a clip from Emma and Peter. Now, I don't know if you Ooh. remember this. You, I believe you served them. I did, yes. Great, so we can get oh, some did. extra juicy gossip there. Yeah. Uh, but basically, Emma's jaw literally landed on the floor when she realised that she has, in fact, dated Peter before. Yes. Great moment. Yes. So the question for everyone out there, and I'm going to fire at you in a minute, <laughs> is would you ever want to go to dinner with any of your exes? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Let's cast our minds back to that, guys. So think about it, think about it. Get your comments in. Let's take a little look at the clip, shall we? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what up? Hi. Uh. <laughs> this is mad. Oh, well. Stop it. Shit. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Mad. Uh, Hi, how are you? Very well. Welcome. I'd like a gin, please. I'm going to sit down. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. We've dated. No, you are kidding me. Oh, they must have known. They couldn't have known. Well, then they obviously think that we should have gone out together. Yeah. Oh, well, so what's been happening in your world then for the last 18 months? Not a lot. Can you imagine if it had been me sitting here, would you have just turned around and walked straight out? It's probably a good job I got here first, yeah. Mm. Honest, yeah. Mm. Oh, I love them. Mm. So oh, love love them. Love yeah. Them. Do you remember it? I do, yeah, very clearly. Because they were... There was so much chemistry between them. Like every time I went over to the table, there was, there was like sparks. I thought it was going to be a happy ending because they were. It was you could cut it with a knife. It was so strong, and it was lovely being around them because they were they were two really warm people who just had a what well, was an unfortunate situation, yeah. um, or fortunate. Who knows? I mean, he might have sent us fortunate. She obviously. Well, she said no, didn't she? So yeah, she, yeah, not so fortunate. Did you know that they had dated? As in, not did they tell you that when they got to the table? Um, they told me when she they got up. to the table. Yeah. So up. she, you could. There was a lot going on for her. You could see she was very, very, um, very like involved in, like she. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to like talk to you and talk to you all no, at the same chat. time. Oh, um, she was. She just had a lot going on, and I, I really wanted to talk to her separately and say, "What you know? Do you want to be with this guy? Like, what 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 is going on?" Because I couldn't work her out. Aww. And at the end, when she said no, I thought, "I get it now. I get. I respected her. Yeah, if that makes sense." Oh, bless. And uh, back to the question: Would you ever go on, uh, go for dinner with one of your exes? 
It would depend on the situation and, and the ex. <laughs> yeah, because there's been a lot of exes and some I would definitely never even go near again and others, you know, who knows? Who knows? You know, maybe it was wrong timing and all the rest of it. So yeah, I would never say never. I've got a, a great question. Well done, Rachel Anstey. On Facebook, would you date an ex if they were gagged and you could do all the talking? Oh my God, that's brilliant. Would you like to just sit one down and be oh like, Oh ah. my God, there's a few I'd like to do that with, yeah. Really? Definitely, well done, Rachel, yeah. That is a great question. Yes. Yeah. I love that. I mean, what would, what would you, would you really want to have the opportunity to kind of go over old territory? Is there any point? I think there's certain things that you'd want to say. You know when you have to have, like, we all like to have the last word. Yeah. There are those things that you just need to say, like you or you should have just done that. If you just said this, it might have changed. Or like you know, the guy, the, this guy, he dumped her through text. Yeah. So she obviously had some strong feelings about that. Yeah. And she managed. She she. This is like golden for her. She she, she got said her, she got her apology, didn't she? she? Yes, yeah, she did. She did. Gone, she got the that. apology. Love it. Such a great topic. Blooming yeah, love it. They were brilliant. Thank you. Rachel has started it strong with the comments. So you've got a lot to live up to, guys. We're going to move on next to. Oh, grab your tissues, everybody. It's Raymond and Cecilia. Oh. The question here is it ever too late to find love? Oh, oh God, I actually think I could cry at this one. <laughs> Just break Tissues. Itself. Raymond and Cecilia, everybody. I like to think that what I'm doing today, for example, my wife would have approved of. Yeah. Because she wouldn't have liked me to have been lonely. I think you're right there. I think you're very right. This is my wedding day. We went to Positano in Italy on our honeymoon. The first thing we noticed was we had two single beds. We weren't going to have that. So we pushed the beds together. But of course, when we went to bed and got together in the middle, the bed spread apart. And we ended up on the floor. <laughs> you don't forget things like that. Oh, God, it gets me every time. I know. Can't help it. Can't forget. Oh my God, that breaks my heart, literally. I don't know what's wrong with it. It gets me every it literally time. Literally breaks my heart. Like, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I don't want to steal the question, but I just don't think it's ever too late to find love, is it? No, no, absolutely not. Because look how much love he had to give. He's full of love. Everything he was saying and explaining, his emotion is love. So he needs to give that to somebody else. Yeah. He's got all this going on, so he needs to share it. And it's, you know, it's so sad about his wife, but. He's got. He's here today, you know, willing to open up and allow it's someone else in. Got a lovely guy. Lovely and he was man. the oldest person on first dates as well. First yeah, wasn't he like dater. 90 or yeah. something? 90 years old. 90 years old. <sighs> I mean, the Love older him. the older dates that do come through, what do they bring to first dates that the young ones don't? They are just so honest. They they're not hiding anything because there's no games. Yeah. They've played every game they've done everything they need to do so they're just so open and honest and i admire that because i wish i could be a bit more like that yeah. but we as you know younger we we have these walls up and they're gu we're guarding ourselves and protecting ourselves whereas at 90 there's nothing left to protect you know it's like this is you know this is me this is how i am i accept myself so if you accept me great do you think you find love quicker when you're older i don't know I went off piece. That's a good question. I don't Do know. So does age help you find love quicker? But I've got a great know. one here. That's Bex a really Triggs. Good question. As you get older, the pool of people people to date gets smaller. Should you ever give up? That's. I mean. That's true. I. Th I well, I feel like that. Yeah. But at the same time, you're much more likely to be on that same page, aren't you? You'd hope so. Through. Yeah. But I do. It does. It definitely gets smaller because most people are like matched up by then you know yeah. like now at my age I'm still trying to find the one and he's like the guys that I'm interested in are married or yeah. they have fiancés because it's just getting smaller and smaller or as 18 I had loads of options those little 18 year old boys running around it was great <laughs> <laughs> those are the days 
Um, oh god, this this is great. This is I'm just loving this. Throwing it out there. I'm loving it. Right. Loving it. We're gonna move on to how much should you reveal about yourself on a first date? Ooh. Now Ooh. this has got to be a social media frenzy because you guys out there had a lot to say about this particular clip. If you have seen it, you're gonna love it all over again. This is Eve and Jordan. So guys, how much mm -hmm. should you reveal about yourself? when you first meet. Let's take a little look. I don't have any hair. I wear a wig. Okay. This is going to freak you. came over at the wrong time. And I've got a tattoo <laughs> on the side of my head. She's so stunning. Oh, wow. Why do you wear a wig? I've got um, alopecia, um, so my hair just, it just falls out. That suits you. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I've like thrown your scarves now, haven't I? That's like, a bit like. It's like a shock. It's like, yeah. oh my god. It's so annoying to put back on. Keep, keep it off. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll be back in like two seconds. One of the main reasons why I wanted to do beauty was, you know, I went through school and I was bullied, all that. You don't have any eyebrows. I don't ever remember feeling like upset about it. But. Apart from now, <laughs> um, it's really hard. It's really hard. Oh my She's god! She's so attractive. You know, my parents have to say really hard for for me to have nice hair. Like my dad, he works so hard. He drew all my first set of eyebrows. <laughs> I'd love somebody like my dad. A bit taller. And he's got no hair like me, so somebody with a bit more hair, you know, give our kids a chance. <laughs> Is there any way I can leave this? I will look after it for you, don't Thank worry. You. <laughs> You're beautiful. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, he meant that. Smitten as I know. Well. Why can't you as soon as she comes back? So how much should you reveal about yourself on a first date? How much, how comfortable how yourself are you on a first date? I think I'm pretty open. If anything, too much because I'm not very good at this whole playing your cards close to your chest and mm. it's for me it's all out there and that's it. Because I'd rather somebody see me like that and then make a decision based on that than see a calm, collected, you know perfected version yeah. of me that isn't really truthful because definitely you know we've all got stuff going on and yeah. it's like you don't have to say everything but I just think you have to be open yeah. and like you know she was for doing that that's just massive respect I, 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 I can't imagine being in that position do you also how much effort do you put into a first date do you go all out from from day one and just let let it deteriorate <laughs> I so they, they realize that by a few weeks in, they just they <laughs> like no, that well, yeah, nothing's wet. Yeah, I am pretty. I generally do do that. I, I I dress up and I you know do my hair and makeup and then like date by date it gets less and less and less. Throw it down. But then I'm Even like, well, in. he likes me by now, yeah. so you know I can stop wearing all this makeup and taking four hours it. to get ready. So we've got some. Uh, I'm loving loving your comments. Keep them coming, guys. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter as well. We're keeping an eye on everything, so make sure you get them in. Bex is back with an amazing comment. Don't reveal too much, so you have something to talk about on future dates. Valid point. Yeah, that's very valid. <laughs> nice. Just want to that's true. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> drop a few bombshells along the way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like that. Miles Noted. Morales. Uh, best to find out who you're revealing things to before you reveal too much. That's very true. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Because if it isn't going to go past the first date, I mean, how much do you really want them to know? That's true, because you don't want to say everything and then think, oh my God, you know my whole life and I don't even know you. I don't even know anything about you. What could you do with that information? I don't want to, I don't want to scare anyone out God, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? It's really <laughs> difficult. Be careful. Yeah, be <laughs> careful. Add up, you've got some agreements. Overall, Facebook are agreeing with you. Get it all out on the first date and be honest. Honesty honest. People. Honesty is key, always. Just I will always part. believe in that. Definitely. Yes. Oh, I love it. Great. We're warming up, people. I love it. Okay. So now, 
This is a controversial subject which we've already touched upon outside of this live stream and we could not come to a conclusion. Oh, yeah. So brace okay. yourself about this one, Cece, because I'm going to need an answer. Oh. If a date <laughs> is going sour, do you stay and see it through or do you go? So what I want you guys doing in the comment box is to put stay or go. Stay or go. I want to see the sides. We're going to tally it up and see which side will win. So do you stay or do you go? Do, 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 do. We've got, uh, <laughs> great. We're going to do a theme tune as well. Yeah. Uh, John and Greg now, who are going to, uh, well, put, put that yes. little thing into practice. I'm all right. I'm all right. I just, I sounds really bad, but, but I don't find you attractive. You're a really genuine guy, right? And we seem to get along, but I just don't have that that connection with you. What's the point in staying and having main course and having dinners and so you cancel main course? Not yet. Do you want to cancel main course? It's up to you. I'll cancel mine. That's easier. Sorry. Hi. Hi there, sir. So I believe you're having an early departure. Do you want to pay your half of the bill now? Aye, please. Yeah. Okay. Give me one second. Thank you. Oh. It's bizarre. We're on a blind date. We're joined together to have a laugh and a giggle and don't be a dick. <laughs> you know what? Don't be a dick. See it through. Bye, dessert. Mm. We need to sit on that moment. That's be like a difficult Whoa. one. Okay, you're on a date. It's you. It's not even that. The I think the key to this question is that the conversation isn't bad. Then it's not. They haven't offended you. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. You know, all in all, that means you can't sit there and enjoy their company. But there is zero chemistry. Yes. Zero chemistry. Do you do you see it through to the end? Do you maybe speed it through a bit, or do you actually do, you know, what they've done there and cut your losses? This is a difficult one. Yeah. Personally, I think if if they haven't offended you and all those things, you know, and you're still having a pleasant time, I think you stay on the date because there's so much preparation that goes into a date. You know, yeah. like these guys, I don't even know where they've come from, but you, for myself, you know, I probably did, wouldn't sleep the night before. I've spent all day thinking about it. I might have bought a new top. I might have done all these things. And for someone to say they're going to leave because they're not, oh, that's really harsh, isn't it? Because they're not attracted to me. Oh, <sighs> actually, I don't know. That's really yeah. difficult. That can't be nice to hear. I just, I think you have to stay. I do think you, out of respect. And also, your mind can be changed. You can, for me, I might walk into, into a date and think, oh, I don't know if I fancy you, but that can sometimes change, especially with a bit of alcohol. You open up a bit more and then you go, actually, you're quite attractive. So I think you kind of stay, I think you stay, you stay on the date. And you, I mean, you see that happening, guys. We've got, a, it's a very, it's swaying to and fro. So please keep your comments coming in. Stay or go. Date's going sour. Well, not even sour, it's just no chemistry there. Stay or go, yeah, comments stay below. Or go. We're keeping an eye on things, comments please. It's so difficult, because I do believe in honesty as well, so, but I just, oh, it's, it's a see, difficult one. You see that on first dates a lot, where they sit down initially, and there's very, it's just, it doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere, then all of a sudden, yeah, then there's a turning tables, corner. Yeah, there Maybe is, is yeah. The wine. <laughs> but there's yeah. definitely a moment. There is a moment. It's happened to me a lot. I've always stayed, I've never left a date early, but then I've always been quite attractive, attracted to my dates as well. Oh, fair. I think. Well, yeah, I said I've had earlier. good dates, no one's been mean. If someone was mean to me, I would walk away. Yeah. I wouldn't stay if someone was mean. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, see what's happening here. Okay, it has completely lopsided. So we're basically, it's an overwhelming response, say, to stay by okay. a humongous margin. Really? So, Cece, you're on, you're on the correct team Okay, here. good. Ooh. Some great comments coming through, guys. We want to hear these comments. We love chatting to you. This is what we're at. We're just relaxing. We're having a conversation. Keep it coming. Bobby Elston says, be a gent and stay. You may make a friend. That's so valuable. Yeah, I like that, yeah. You never know. I've got friends of, like, people that were dates and now they are friends because I genuinely liked them. Yeah. Like nice, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like friend dates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
exactly. Everybody wants to be a friend. Can't, Everyone. You know, it can't be a bad thing gaining a friend. We've also got Liz <laughs> Murphy here. If there's zero conversation, oh Liz, she's coming in the controversy. Mm. If there's zero conversation, leave. Life is too short. Well, we sort of said this earlier, didn't we? Yeah. If there's zero conversation, yes. Like, why would you waste three hours of your evening and pay? for your food when you're, it, it's a not enjoyable experience. Yeah. But, well, I don't know, it's a difficult just one. I think you do your prank call to your friend, where your friend calls you and goes, hey, is everything all right? And you and just you go, go, oh, is yeah. she? Oh, no, yeah. don't worry, yeah, I'll come home in five. Yeah, yeah that's good, that's that good one. prep. So, we're gonna come to a part of the live stream that is probably why 90% of you are here. Oh. Social media has gone you. crazy since the final episode. Uh, so let's just address oh. that elephant in the room, people, <laughs> that is filling up social media. I need a drink. You and Sam, Cece and Sam, if you are not sure what we're talking about, let's just have a little look at this clip. <laughs> it's gonna cringe. This is cringe. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's the music Thank as well, you. the music. Oh. oh my god, I'm going to cry. <laughs> you look amazing. Wow. Where are you off to? I'm going on a date. I know, I know. You That's look amazing. amazing. See you later, guys. Please have a good time. Please message me. Let me know how it goes. Mm -hmm. How was that? Oh, his face. Hello. Hi, Fred. Thanks. You look lovely. Thank you. Thanks for letting me go. Have a good evening. Do. And don't do anything you wouldn't do. <laughs> Such a one of these. She looks incredible, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh my god, look at his face. <sighs> so, <laughs> let's ease in with this one. Uh, Debbie Franklin says, how did your date go at the end of the series? Will there be a date number two? Let's take it back to first dates. <laughs> um, so the date, um, the guy was actually a really, really lovely guy and we sort of were on and off for a little bit. Um, but I am single again. Um, we decided not to continue it. Single. Um, all I've got coming in, uh, just a selection of... Oh my God, Sam's face. Sam's face. Look at Sam's face. Sam's face. His poor little face. His poor little face. <laughs> What's going on with oh. Sam's face? When you, that's not the first time you've seen that. You saw the episode, right? I did, yeah. So yeah. But when you saw that, was it a bit of a... I <laughs> text Sam immediately after and I was like, everything all right? <laughs> Are you okay? Because I didn't quite know. I've never seen that. Exp I didn't know he was... That face said a lot, and it kind of, I just didn't quite realise it. So, yeah, I had to have a little conversation with the martyr and just say, you okay? And, uh, to Sam and Cece, is that... Oh, the question. <laughs> the I question. So mean. Um, so... <laughs> we, I, I love Sam to pieces. I absolutely love him, and he is, he's my person, he knows me better than a lot of people but at the moment I'm in such a good place being single I'm like I'm enjoying myself for once this has never happened usually I'm like I need a boyfriend you know I need someone else to make me happy and I'm just I love me at the minute and so it's really hard to sort of take someone else in when you feel like that because I've never felt like this so I'm trying to hold on to this feeling for as long as I can before I say okay to someone whether that be sam or so i don't know it's a very difficult question there you go. You've, had enough. It. you've had enough you've had enough thank you moving on jonathan and crystal we're about to see next now i love this i love this clip it's just a really oh, just classic classic families getting involved but have you ever let your family have a say in your dating that's what this is we're gonna go here think about it mm -hmm. let's have a lovely look at jonathan and crystal I like these two. They're lovely. Has any like family members like tried to hook you up or anything? Oh yeah, yeah. I've had African parents. Oh, it's, it's pressure. Trust me, man. They try to do that. Oh, you know what? If you don't find someone by this age, we're gonna arrange a marriage for you. It's hard enough to meet someone already that is on the same wavelength and you both <laughs> want the same things in life. Thank you. 
On top of that, I don't think I could be with a, a girl if I didn't have my family's blessing. My mum, she'll come out with, there's this guy, he works in the bank, and he's a nice guy, you know, he'll look after you, you know, but he's in Nigeria. <laughs> it's like, they don't want you to be dating when you're young because they're like, you're too young, but then all of a sudden it's like, where's your husband? Yeah, yeah. Why are you still single? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never get past a certain stage with guys because of that, you know, I'm always like questioning myself, you know, is it that I'm not attractive enough? Is it that I'm not good enough? I might not be, you know, amazingly look looking, but I know I'm not ugly either. Like, I know that I look in the mirror and I say to myself, Crystal, you're a bit all right today. So, um, sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional, but um, just haven't found the right person yet. That's it, so yeah. So you did, you served them, were they lovely? So lovely, both of them, yeah, really just endearing. And they, they really liked each other, Yeah, really liked each other, yeah, it was lovely. So guys, the topic is, have you ever let your family have a say in who you're dating? Have you? Um, my, yeah, my family always have a say, like my sister's the first person to meet any boyfriend and we're very similar, so if she's if she agrees then it's always uh, more of an incentive to like go on a second third fourth whatever date um as for meeting the parents that's when i'm already quite involved with them because i would never introduce them too soon but if my parents didn't agree i would i'd be gutted because you want their approval yeah. but at the same time i don't know if i'd let them choose who i date because your parents always want the best for you and the yeah. best isn't always for you, you know, if you don't have that connection or that chemistry, what's the point? If you, if your parents were to choose you, your perfect partner, do you think, do you think they could? Do you think they'd actually pick quite well? I think they'd do really well, yeah, I, because they know me and they know what, yes, I don't think they'd choose on paper the best guy, they'd choose the guy that they know is going to, you know, look after me and be, mm -hmm. yeah, I think they do a good job. But it all comes down to chemistry. Definitely. Haven't got chemistry, you ain't got nothing. Definitely. Uh, so on to Bruce and Yvonne. Bruce, I love Bruce. Bruce, standout, standout yeah. character. And actually, uh, Bruce came, made a made a comeback, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So hotel he, to restaurant. Yes, and first dates hotel. Yeah. Is happening in yes. autumn. So it make is. Sure you tune in on Italy. That one. Yes. Um, and so, in fact, oh, do you know what? Sorry, I apologise. We are actually going to chat about David and Jenny. In fact, I'm going to make sure all of these clips, everything is on the YouTube page. So make sure you go to YouTube First Dates yes. and check out all these wonderful, lovely clips. If you want to check out the episodes as well, everything is on 4OD, so make sure you go and check that out too. But David and Jenny... So, David and Jenny, you served these guys. I did, because, frankly, yeah. frankly, you joined in spectacularly. I did. I get a bit excited when people are, like, getting giddy. I'm like, well, I've got to get giddy with you. I've just got no choice. It's like, look, like, I have to do it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> feeling the buzz. So this is, if you were serenaded by someone on a date, which song would you choose? Think oh, about it. Oh, God. David and Jenny. Oh, no. Let's have a look. Which one did he go Things for? Things with me, I, um, I love to sing. Please sing, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. You've got to suck me up. If I'm going to do it. When I wake up, well, I know I'm going to be. I'm going to be the man who wakes up next to you. How can you not, like, join in? Hundred miles and I would walk 500 more to be the man who <laughs> would get those <laughs> miles to follow oh, at your door. Yeah. 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 That was very, yeah, bravo. Cheers to David. Cheers to David. Cheers to David. I sat down to like, I actually love that. That was fucking fantastic. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Sh shall we just get married now? <laughs> oh, I love that. That's what it's all about. First dates. I love. love. If someone serenaded you on a first date, how would you feel? I think that's quite adorable. Um, it shows balls, really, doesn't it? You know, he didn't have to do that. 
and he did he made himself look a little bit silly but in a really sweet way so it just shows he's not taking himself too serious and that would be a guy that i'd be very much interested in well funnily enough hello david who is actually david! watching david! Cece, did you like my rendition of 500 miles i loved it <laughs> thank you very impressed very <laughs> impressed michelle archer has said they were so cute and we could not agree more yeah just just lovely and as always all those lovely clips so heartwarming yeah make sure if you just want a little feel-good moment or some procrastination at work get <laughs> onto the YouTube channel first dates YouTube you want to go check it out all of the series are up on 4OD as well in case you've missed anything yeah um, and guys we are casting we're casting for first date so if you want to find love and people can actually find love they can they? come, come and join the fun then make sure that you Go and check out all the details on the First Dates website and in fact we'll do loads of comments and drops and Facebook and just yeah. keep an eye, subscribe, follow and keep up to date with all the details and in fact firstdatescasting.co.uk you can apply for the next series. Thank you so much Cece. Thank you. For being just a great insider knowledge there and thank, thank you, you to everyone out there for watching. Yes, this thank you guys. Lovely. Thank you. I think we should chill out and watch another... Come yeah, on, let's do it. Catch up. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Cheers. Take care, guys. Cheers. 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 This is really nice, actually. I know. They're splashed out a bit. Mm.